So then we came back to IIT. What to do now? They are asking for 200 numbers. Because scale, right? If 50,000 people have to use, a pilot production should have at least, at least 200 number. So there came the biggest challenge for us. Then you tell me what material should I use? Will I use the seat handle? This is so expensive. For a prototype, I could use it. But if I had to make 200 number, it would be very tough for me. And then we found out that the polycarbonate stick actually was slipping from the bottom. So we had to make the bottom also. Look at the bottom cap. The attachment is detachable. It is multifunctional, lightweight, which can be fixed to the stick whenever needed. And the material used is neoprene rubber, which is soft, durable, lightweight, and cost effective. There are two, three processes of molding. So this is compression molding where we did compression molding of the neoprene rubber and you can see the tool parts. So we made these tools very quickly with the tool manufacturer and we got the components out. So we came up with the neoprene seat prop, made a slot inside because they actually have this, you know, also as part of their design. We added the, you know, bottom section to it. Again, in the context, we found out there are different surfaces, concrete roads, mud, uh, smooth surfaces. So on the smooth surfaces, this was slipping away. So we had to use a rubber, neoprene rubber cap also, so we modified this cap. And then we found out, my God, there are different sizes. If it's a seat prop, you may have to have an, you know, small and a large. Because everybody is not of the same height. So we came up with two sizes, we worked on the two sizes. And you know, I can sit on the seat and I can also rest my chin. This idea was given by them, we didn't even realize it. What a very interesting thing, they said that this is more humane. When I push a guy, he doesn't get hurt. So that was like a bonus for us. We never thought that we were making some humane stick. Then what happened? After we gave the sticks to all the 200 policemen, we got some phenomenal feedback. Uh, the feedback was that the you know 80 percent of the policemen loved the product. They said it's excellent. We like to use it. So we were happy with you know our, our record. And very interestingly, there's a manufacturer who has now you know come with us and said we want to make this an international product, and we will call it sustainable. And for the international export market we'll use the cane baton and we want to put up an exhibition in uh, you know like germany within the next two months so you can see the connections from where to where so you know i'll give my world product